to say that this is the last time I will be unboxing this box because they decided to cancel their subscription. This is Sephora Play. For those of you who don't know, Sephora Play was a $10 a month subscription box that sent you five sample size products plus one bonus item, which was usually either a foil package of shampoo and conditioner or a perfume sample. I personally really enjoyed this box. I've had it for a couple years now. Granted, I did get a lot of repeats, but I feel like a lot of the items they sent are items that you do not get in other subscription boxes. So I am a little bit sad to see this go, and it does come in an outer packaging. I just took that out already because we don't need it in this video. But if you are interested, I do unbox a lot of other subscription boxes, so you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this unboxing. So it does come in a little bag that's almost like a Ziploc bag, and it has where you can seal it. So this is good to take with you traveling, just in case something spills, it's not going to damage everything. And it does also come with a card. This month they did also send some stickers, I'm assuming because it's their last month. But it says Class of 2020, Best for Last Beauty. It says this will be your final play box. You've learned, experimented, and had all kinds of fun with us. Now it's time to graduate. Play is ending to make room for something even better. We know saying goodbye is bittersweet, but there are more exciting things to come. Never change. I would love to see for them to do another, I know they says they probably wouldn't do another subscription box, but even if they just had like a ton of sample size products, probably like around the $10, $20 price point so people can still pick up bags similar to this so that way they can still get to test out some products, that'd be really cool, but who knows what will happen. So this is what it looks like, and then it has the items that you received, so I'm going to keep that out so I know what I received, and then we're going to go ahead and get right into here. It says thank you for playing, that is so sweet totally going to miss this box. So the first item that I got is from Belief, and this is their moisturizing, moisturizing eye balm. Ignore this band-aid, I totally cut my finger before I started filming this video. So it says this is a lightweight cream that delivers a burst of moisture and boosts the appearance of skin's elasticity for 26 hours. I've had this before, gotten it a lot of times. Of course it's one of those samples where it looks like you get a lot, but really you don't because it has that packaging. It's a good product, can always use eye cream, little goes a long way. So next is from Bare Minerals, and this is their Mineralist Lipstick in Honesty. Worthy of that coveted spot in your everyday bag, this vegan lip color and treatment combo nurtures skin while providing rich color in one swipe. And I've tried things from Bare Minerals before, but I don't think I've ever tried the Minimalist Lipstick. So here's the packaging. Then we have the shade Honesty. This is how much you get, which is a decent size. Lipstick kind of lasts a while. So here it is built up, and then there it is with just one swatch or one swipe. So it is a very pretty color. I think this is great for summer and spring, so I will definitely get some use out of this. Next is from Benefit Cosmetics, and it's their Their Real Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. This ultra creamy mascara delivers buildable volume and length that lasts for up to 24 hours. That's a formula that's worth your time. I've gotten this sample before, but I have not tried it yet. I do have this in a full size. I love the packaging, even for the little mini one. I'm not going to open this yet because I do have a ton of sample mascaras, and as I said, I do have this in full size. But here is what the wand looks like. I've heard good things about this mascara, and I do enjoy the Benefit line. So next is from Origins, and this is their Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Smoothing Treatment Lotion. This light calming lotion uses a mushroom infused formula to reduce the look of redness, aka help your skin chill out. This is one fluid ounce. It's liquidy. I don't know if you can probably not hear that, but I actually thought it'd be like lotion, not liquid like a toner. It has a decent smell to it. I don't mind it. It almost smells like it has some kind of essential oils in it. So this is really cool, excited to try this out. It's a new item for me. The next item is from Shishido. I feel like I never say that right. This is their Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum Face Sunscreen SPF 42. Protecting your skin until the very end, this ultra light sunscreen doubles as a primer absorbing extra oil and delivering a matte finish. This is pretty cool. SPF 42 is decent. I'll probably still mix it with something a little bit stronger just because I'm super pale and burnt easily. But here's what it looks like. Decent size. You can get a few uses out of it. 
I always like receiving sunscreen type products, especially in the summer. Not that we can go anywhere right now, but hopefully when we can, I can get some use out of this. So it says reapply after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating, immediately after towel drying, or at least every two hours. And then the last item that I got this month is from Kat Von D Beauty. And it is three little lipstick samples. So we have Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in Lolita, Outlaw, and Vampria. Probably saying that wrong. Super creamy, comfortable, and weightless. This long wear lipstick delivers vivid color with lip nurturing ingredients. And this would be cool if you're like, can pull off any lipstick color. This would be good to take with you traveling because you get three different colors in it. You probably could get two uses out of it. I have received this before as a free sample from Sephora when I made a purchase, but it's always cool to receive. Okay, that is all I have for this unboxing. I am so sad that Sephora Play is leaving. I will be honest and say this wasn't my favorite box, but it still was a pretty good box and I am really, really sad to see them go. If you've subscribed to this box, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts of it leaving or if you've tried any of these products, let me know your thoughts. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.